Hi folks, I'm on HollandAndroid.com where we get on Android every day. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to install the new 12, uh, CM12S that just came out for OnePlus One. I have actually more hopes uh, with this one. And uh, you can go ahead and download the zip file you can go ahead and install with uh, your OnePlus One. Go ahead and download this file. I'll have links to it. Now I did edit, I did have to edit the search, so make sure you download the one I have on my site. Um, it's gonna be the CM12 blah blah bacon dash sign dot zip. Uh, this might look the same, I actually edited the asserts to make it work with one plus one. So I was getting some kind of A001 error. Um, so go ahead and download that. You can download it to straight to your phone or to your computer and copy it over. Uh, and I assume that you have a rooted one plus one. If you don't have a rooted one plus one, Go ahead and root it first. I have full instructions for Mac, Windows, or Linux. I'll have links to my root method there. All right, let's go ahead and power off your phone. Make sure you have enough battery life. I have about, uh, I have at least like 25%. Go ahead and hold down the volume down and power button together until you see the logo, and then let go of both buttons. And this will enter you into the Torp recovery. All right, if you've rooted uh, your OnePlus One, Using my root method, you should have Torp Recovery installed, the correct Torp Recovery. I also recommend the Torp Recovery for the OnePlus One. It's very easy to use. Uh, you can also backup ROM, restore ROM. All right, before doing anything, make a backup ROM, okay? That way, go to backup and swipe to backup. Very simple, take you five minutes. Something goes wrong, reboot into a Torp Recovery, hit restore, and choose your backup. That will restore all your settings, all of your OS, whatever your ROM you're on. So do that first. All right, for those of you coming from a different ROM, you may want to do a wipe. So do a uh, swipe to factory reset. I think if you're coming from Oxygen uh, OS or if you're coming from stock one plus one, you should be good to go. So just go ahead and install the ROM. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and find this ROM here. The CM12 uh, YNG blah blah bacon dot zip. Confirm to flash and this will install the CM12S on your one plus one and also allow you to keep roots. Uh, which is uh, the point here and uh, you can take the OTA but you will lose root um, so for this phone I highly recommend having root and updating manually actually I recommend that for all kinds of uh, Android devices uh, just because that's pretty much a you know smarter method also make sure you download a super SU uh, and also root it so make sure you have that if you didn't do this go ahead and uh, boot into your OS download super SU up to get root and then flash reboot into Tor recovery and flash it and that's that will give you full root and then go ahead and reboot your system you should now be on 12 uh, s cm 12 s the official cm 12 s and uh, you should have all of your functionalities from before uh, we'll find out what it looks like here but I'll have a separate video uh, outlining the highlights this is just going to be a video on how to install the cm 12 s for those of you with a rooted one plus one and i'm gonna actually just go through all of the motions here so that's the new logo uh the reason is that one plus one company has now um gotten away they fell apart with sinogen mod basically sinogen mod i think signed with an indian android company um and then they they didn't allow uh, one plus to actually sell the phones in india anymore and then people got mad and then they said goodbye uh that's why now there's oxygen os which is like one plus one's new os for the one plus one and then sinogen mod is making their own version of the cm12s well it was sinogen mods uh property i guess so now we're relying on sinogen mod for the official updates for the one plus one and oxygen os is a new rom you actually have to root and install it got very very confusing it's a mess out there uh it's really a political mess i would say i never want to get into that also by the way i'm recording this with my sony 4k video camera finally um i'm gonna render it down to 1080p just because i i can upload it all in 4k just even i have the fastest computer uh i have the intel i7 5960 with water cooled i've got three R9 280 graphics cards. Even with that, to render a 10 minute video in 4K at 45 megabits per second, a uh, 10 minute video will take you like 30 minutes. So I've, I like working fast, I hate working slow. 
So for the review videos, the big videos, I'll do 4K, but videos like this, I'm gonna do all in 1080p, um, just because I can render it in like two, three minutes, and I've got way too many videos to do. So if you got to the screen, you're good to go. Now if you get to the screen and then it boots up and you get any force close errors, and you're coming from another ROM or even stock ROM that can happen, uh, then you will you may have to do a factory reset. That's why I told you to uh, make a backup ROM. That way, you know, if you forgot to back up your apps using Titanium Backup app, you can go ahead and go back. Uh, back up your apps. Also, you can back up your SMS text messages if you forgot, because backing up ROM saves all of that. Um, so it is a vital feature, vital thing you have to do. Uh, a lot of people just skip it and then they ask me for help afterwards. So definitely do that so you can help yourself. Aren't you tired of asking people for help? <laughs> uh, seriously, like, just make a backup ROM. It take you five minutes. I know it takes five minutes or ten minutes, uh, and then you'll be on your way to go. Now, if the backups take too much time, or it takes up too much space, then you can go ahead and grab one of these uh, OTG cable. You can connect any of your favorite flash drives, and it's compatible with Trip. Uh, this is what I usually normally use uh, to back up ROMs because they can be like three, four gigs or sometimes more, depending on how many apps you have. And you can go ahead and save it all in your flash drive and won't affect this uh, storage space on your OnePlus One. Now we're always, al almost getting there. So um, I'm just gonna let this go uh, and uh, let's see if we have OnePlus One. But it should be fine, um, just installing over anything. Because most of the ROMs are actually based on CM11 and CM12. Most of the time actually you won't have a problem uh, doing it dirty flash this is what you call dirty flash when we didn't do a system uh, factory reset uh, but uh, you know that's what you do really on stock ROMs anyways you don't want to do a wipe so you can keep all your settings apps all that good stuff uh, but it's getting a little bit stuck here eh, so I'll be back when this is done All right, guys, I think it's done, and I've got the startup screen, um, so, and see how the keep has stopped, so I may have to do a factory reset. I'm not sure. If I don't get any errors, I might just, I'll not do anything. Ooh, Hexo theme. Look at that. Boom shakalaka. Um, keep keeps screwing up on me. Ah, all right, screw this. All right, you'll probably have to do a factory reset. Um, now I find out. So do a factory reset when you install this ROM if you're coming from Ox Oxygen OS. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and power down. Power down, come on. All right, volume down, uh, power. And we're gonna get rid, rid of that error, let go of all the buttons by doing a factory reset. Uh, I think the Oxygen OS, something is not compatible with it, obviously. So we're going to do a factory reset and I'm going to reinstall SuperSU because that will wipe out our root and we'll reboot. But for those of you following this coming from Oxygen OS, now I find out uh, you will want to do a factory reset. And I'm going to go ahead and install SuperSU again. Ah. And that will root our device. And Boom Chocolaka, do this again. And I will be back when this completely boots. We'll fast forward this. Alright guys, finally booted. This time, no errors. Good. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and skip all of this for now. Skip. Just wanna take a look at it real quick. I just wanna show you that it works. I'm not sure um, Google Apps is required for this ROM. If it is required, I'll show you also how to install that. And boom, shakalaka. Laggy. Alright, that's just the first boot up. Ooh, this is nice. Before we had to do all kinds of workarounds here. So this is it, folks. Um, I have Play Store, so no G apps required. And let's go into settings here. Wow, um, so interesting. It's all blacked out here. 5.2, uh, there you go. I'll have a full review of this. I'm gonna go play with it. It'll be all over at my main channel. But for those of you who want to install the official CM12S, it is finally here, folks. 
And it actually, it's not called CM12S, it's just called CM12. You know, but it's basically CM12S, you know. That's what we're gonna call it, because it's different from the regular CM12. You have the Screencast app, uh, Themes, all right, Audio FX app. Um, everything from the OnePlus One, it seems like, it, except for the camera, no, let me see. Uh, let's just check this real quick. So camera works, nice. Let's actually check if the video recording for 4K works with this camera. Yes, 4K, DCI, UHD, both are on board. And here's the test. And yes, no force close. So this is the ultimate way to go. I'm um, definitely looking good. I'll have a full review of this. In the meanwhile, go ahead and install it. Make sure you do a wipe if you're coming from Oxygen OS. And that was how to, how to install CM12S on your OnePlus One. And as always, guys, uh, stay on Android.